Do you want to become a professional player? <sighs> yes, you. Yes, you! God. Oh my god, yes! Yes! Oh, good. <laughs> well, you've come to the right place. Hey guys, Apathy here, and today I'm going to be talking about how to become a professional player. Now, this could be whether, and this is in general, whether it's Call of Duty, Halo, anything you want. But for now, I'm going to be talking about Call of Duty. And to start off with, I'm going to be talking about two main things that you really need and you should have to, you know, to be on the next level. To be that player that says, Woohoo! Awesome. So one thing that's very useful is the Astros. Now, doesn't necessarily have to be Astro headset. I have Astros and I really love them. I do have a mix app as well. Now, the reason they are so good is because you can hear anything and you barely, you know, your, your ears are covered so you barely hear any noise around you. On top of that, it's very useful because you can sound whore. What is sound whoring? Sound whoring is you can turn the mix amp left and right, more game volume, and you can hear a lot of things, especially in Advanced Warfare where you can hear boosting, you can hear, you can hear a lot of stuff. So it's really useful, really helpful. The next thing is a scuff. I have a scuff, phase black scuff. I have dome sticks for the people who like PS3 or PS2 more. PlayStation, uh, dome sticks, I love them. They help my shot more, I think, I believe. I got the little, the, the little, the little paddles in the back to help me, you know, doop, doop, jump a little bit. But a scuff is very necessarily, unless you play, is you need to have a scuff, unless you play claw. But these paddles to jump, especially jumping in mid-air is so useful. I mean, if you want to be on top level, you want to be a professional player, a scuff is is basically a must. All right, now that we got that out of the way, next thing I'll be talking about is finding a team. I know there's a lot of free agents out there. A lot of you guys are free agents, and you're looking for a team. The main best way is Twitter. If you do not have a Twitter account, I suggest you go make one. You can, you know, tweet out, I'm a free agent. You could interact a lot with the pros. Try to just get yourself out there, gain some followers, so you can try to get on a good team. Uh, another way, if you can't and you don't have a Twitter account, you're just new to this, is the GB forums. I'm pretty sure there's a section still there. Uh, people just t writing about, you know, I'm a free agent, I I'm looking for a team, looking for a game battle team. And that's kind of the place where you want to start, especially if you're just a starter. You want to kind of try to get on the game battle team or just on the team and just go from there, you know, start, start just building your legacy. Now the next big step is you want to get your name out there, you want to get known. Now this can be very, very, extremely, extremely hard for a lot of players. Uh, definitely, I know the struggle, trust me, it took me like 2-3 years to get known after playing competitive Halo for like 4 years. And it's, it's hard, it's hard, believe me. But the way I suggest and the way I did it is, one, you gotta attend local lands. That's big. Pros, a lot of pros, especially if you know a pro is going to that land, you want to go there, you want to... I remember playing Diabolic in a local land, and he's that's kind of where he started, you know, Diabolic, Rise Diabolic, and that's just an example. A lot of pros and a lot of top amateurs start like that. Like, for example, NJ Halo, I know a lot of, I think, Spacely started from there. So my point is, you want to attend local lands. Pros will usually go to them, especially around your area, so they're very good. It's, even if you're, you're the king of the local lands, you know, people get to know you like that, and that's just building a reputation of yourself, you know. People are, they see, damn, this kid's pretty good. Next thing also you want to do is try to attend events. Now, I know they're expensive. Trust me, when I was little, <laughs> it was no joke. But the way you got to look at it and the way I looked at it, huge time, it's an investment. If you can go to a, basically to an event, at least, at least place top 16. Your name is going to be pretty good out there. People are going to know who you are. Maybe not every pro is going to know who you are, but people, at least all the amateurs and maybe some pros will know who you are. And that's a good way of starting. You know, another good way to build your reputation is definitely online tournaments. Now, a lot of you guys know S&D stars, and a, a lot of them are known. A lot of pros play with them, a lot of people know them, and you know, why not? They're very good at what they do, they play these tournaments every day, and if a pro needs a team, boom, he could go right at them. So, that's a good way of doing things as well, playing these online tournaments, especially S&D. You want to become an S&D star? You should. So, a lot of people know, like, Sage... Uh, Sage sucks, whatever his name is. Uh, he's he's basically an upcoming S and D star who's becoming known because of S and D, and he's doing tournaments with all these pro players and stuff like that. And that's just an example. You want to get known in the community. You want people. You want to have a name for yourself, and that's that's the way you're gonna start. You, you're gonna have a chance to get on a good team, and basically, you know, make make it a professional player. You're gonna go all the way to the top slowly but surely. 
Now, when you compare and contrast amateurs to pro players, you see a huge difference. Uh, whether it's composure, whether it's gun skill, whether it's it's a mental or you know it's your in-game skill is bad, uh, you see a huge difference. And amateurs wonder, how can I get better? How can I improve? How can I get my aim better? Well, <laughs> the best way, and I'm giving you guys the best way, is watch pro players play. It's that simple. Now here you have the biggest streamer, Optic Nate Shot, and just from watching him or watching anyone stream, you can obviously just improve in your game, learn. Take notes, guys. Now the next thing is game battles. Game battles host online tournaments every single day. You should definitely participate in those or just play in the 2Ks and 5Ks where you have a chance to play a pro if you get into the further rounds. And don't forget, you can just play game battle matches for fun and just practice there as well. For the next thing, I'm going to be talking about YouTube. Now, for example, TP does tips with Teep, a great way of breaking down the map, breaking down whatever he was trying to explain, and you can learn a lot from that. I do videos on how to improve as well. I have videos on how to improve your aim, stuff like that, and those kind of videos can help you. Just remember, watch YouTube videos. You can watch other pro players play. You can watch some gameplays, and just really dissect their, their gameplay, dissect their setups, and just learn from it. The last thing I'll be talking about is UMG. They have wagers and this is the only site that hosts wagers where you play for money whether it's a dollar 50 cents or three dollars but it's good because you get to you know really test your skill you get to play kids who are going 100 percent and when they're going 100 percent when you're going 100 percent that's often where you improve you you produce good habits and just helps you overall also they host 2ks here every saturday and those are tournaments are good to participate i know they cost a little bit of money people really take all that for granted you know we know how to play the game. We're the ones that play the game at the top level. We know what to do, what not to do. We, we are not perfect. Don't get me wrong. We mess up. We have our mistakes. But for the most part, we know how to play the game. If you want to learn how to set up, uh, how to, what to do in SD, rush routes, set, uh, anything like that, all you have to do is literally watch a pro player play, watch a team play, or whether it's Optic, Envy, Phase, and just learn from them. It, it could be a stream, like I said, it could be a YouTube video. Uh, you know, a lot of people do YouTube videos to help you guys. I do it. I think TP does it. Uh, some players do it as well. So you guys just gotta, you gotta invest your time. The way you gotta look at it, and I remember doing this in Halo. I would watch live events, I would watch YouTube videos, and I would just watch and learn. Because I love watching them play because I would always learn something when I watched them. And that's something you guys have to do. You guys. What I love seeing, guys, is that I see people working hard every day. I see people streaming with, with two viewers, and they're going hard, you know, trying to practice. I see people who are upcoming, you know, trying to do, trying to trying to make a dream come true. And I respect that, and I love that. And I love you guys, and I, I want to show you my support to you guys. You guys are awesome. Keep doing what you're doing. I know I was there at one point, but it just really means... I, just, I respect people who do that. I respect people who really, who really strive for the best and push themselves every day. And I know it, it ain't easy. And it, 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 is, it isn't easy. A lot of people, you know, <clears throat> love, like, wish they had our job of being a professional player, playing video games for a job and making some good money. And a lot of you guys wish you could do that. And I'm telling you, and I'm right here, right now, telling you, you guys could do that too. Just follow these steps and implement some of your own. Practice, practice with your team, form a squad, and really just become your best, the best you can be, the best player you can be. If you follow these steps, if you improve yourself, if you become the best player you can be, you will you will see yourself, you will find yourself on a good squad, which will somehow get top 16 at the next event, and then out of nowhere, you're, you're, you're top 12, and out of nowhere, a pro team sees you, and they're like, damn, this kid was pretty good, I want, I'm, I'm going to pick him up. And out of nowhere, you're on a pro team, whether it's not the best pro team, but you're on a pro team, and you place top 8 next event, and you just keep moving up on the ladder in the rankings. And that's what I want to see you guys do. You guys have no idea how much hope you put in me. This is seeing you guys working hard every day, and you guys push me to become one, become like want to become the best player in the game. Want to push myself every single day. So I love you guys for that. I respect you guys, and I respect the work ethic. I want you guys to keep doing you, keep going hard. I love all of you. Thank you for watching. Hope you learned some new things, and definitely follow these tips. I guarantee you, you will see improvement. Don't forget. Last thing before I go. Delusional confidence. Be confident when you play. Be confident in your skill. I don't care if you're playing pros. I remember when I used to play pros back in the day. I would get nervous. I would shake. My heart, my heart rate would beat really fast. But you can't let that get to you. You gotta, you gotta focus on the game. Pretend you're playing some amateurs. Just pretend, pretend this is the game of your life. 
and just play to, to show everyone that you're the best to prove people wrong. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. This has been your boy Apathy and I've been working out so I'm getting back in shape, you know, doing me. I love you guys. Don't forget to like this video, really show support and really help it out. Don't forget to comment as well, anything you want to say, anything you want to give uh, the fans or supporters, uh, any more tips on how to, you know, become better, become a professional player. And don't forget to subscribe, hit that button, subscribe baby! Apathy, out.